This is chapter 1.3, exercise 1 through 12. This is on transformations, graphical transformations of functions. I'm going to go over six of these 12 problems in this set and leave it to the viewer to do the remaining. Write g of x in terms of f of x after performing the given transformation of the graph of f of x. And I'm going to do in this set here problem one and two initially and I'm going to translate this graph to the left and I'm going to use the magic of this pen here so what I'm doing is tracing over the original function f of x and there it is and I'm going to take it and we're going to translate it to the left three units. So there is the drawing that can translate the left three units. And then we're going to do the part that's harder, and that's getting the, the function or the equation. And so we will say uh, g of x, which is going to be the transformation, is going to be f of, uh, now when we translate left and right, it's really counterintuitive. So if we want to translate the function to the left, we have to go ahead and add inside the parentheses and put x plus 3. Yes, it is kind of counterintuitive. And why that is kind of gives into a bit of a long explanation, but that's what it's going to be. So we put x plus 3 in that direction now. And there's the little song, x plus 3 is 2 to the left, and x minus 2 to the right. So there we have, we're adding inside parentheses 3 to the left, 3 units. And we can verify using a calculator, 2, and I, I may do that later on here. Two, translate the graph of f of x up two units. So we're going to take this thing right here and trace over it, just like we did for number one. I'm kind of going slowly so as to get that right. So now we take that. semicircle, move it up two units, so that's about about what it looks like. There we go, that's as quick as we get. Okay, and then we're going to take um, what is g of x equal to in this instance? Up to the right here, g of x is equal to f of x, and what do we do to make this function go upward? We add 2 to the outside. So again, uh, as opposed to number 1, where we added inside parentheses to move the left, we added outside the parentheses to move the function upward. So uh, that's that's what those are. We'll leave it to the viewer to accomplish three and four, a similar type of operations as one and two. Okay, five. Stretch the graph of f of x horizontally by a factor of three. And so to stretch horizontally by a factor of 3, we're going to take this, we'll go from 0 to negative 2, that's that's distance of 2. By factor 3, we have to have, that'll be 1, 2, 3. So we're going to end up here like this. And on the other side of the y-axis, we're going to end up here. And we're going to be at the same place at the top. And so the stretch is going to look something like this. Mm 
Yeah, it's a little bit better on the left side, but that's generally what we're going to see. And what is the equation going to do, the, the function itself going to do? Well, g of x is equal to f. And what we have to do to, to stretch horizontally by a factor of 3 is multiply inside parentheses by one third. So that's what that one's going to look like. For number 6, uh, you stretch vertically, which means you're going to take this and move it up. I'm not going to do that one here. I'm going to leave it to the, the viewer. We talk about that in class. Let's go on to number 7. Compress the graph of f of x horizontally by a factor of one third. And this is one that I'm going to be able to put into the calculator and demonstrate pretty clearly. So if we compress the graph horizontally by a factor of third, we're going to, to smash these two sides inward. Okay. And to uh, compress the graph horizontally, well, by a factor of one third, we are going to take uh, g of x is equal to f of 3x. That's how we're going to do it. And what that's going to look like is this. Okay, this 2, this 0 comma 1 is going to show up right here. So we're going to be looking like this. Let me get, in fact, what I'm going to do for that is just get the uh, line drawing tool. Here's a line. It's going to look like this. There we go. There it is here. So that's what it's going to look like. And what I'm going to do is go to the graphing calculator and see what happens here. Let me get that up earlier. That's all I have in there. The TI Smart View. Back there. I think it's coming up. There it is. It's going to ask me if I want to continue my trial. Yes, I have a trial version. No, continue with the trial version. 88 days left. Apologize for not having it set up earlier. Okay, available emulator. Okay, we'll just leave it like this. It should be plenty visible. So now we're going to graph. I go to the y equals view here. And I'm going to put the absolute value in there. Well, to do that, there are different ways to put absolute value for a second catalog, ABS, like that. And so I'm going to put uh, 
x. And that's what we have, and we graph that. And we have more where it looks like we can go take the format and get a grid line version here. There we go. Graph. And so that's that's what it looks like. And the original one, I'm going to put down here in red. I'm going to put second catalog, enter X. So the original version is this red one, and then the vertically compressed by a, by a factor of one third. That's what that's what the blue one is. All right. Next nine. Reflect the graph of f of x across the y axis. So what we're going to do here is draw this out, and I'm going to draw it freehand, which is going to be, so we reflect about the y-axis, we take this starting at 2 over here, it looks like we're going to maximize about here, so reflect about the y-axis, it's going to come up like this, and then go down, to the origin, and that's about, well, we'll just call that good enough. And then the other one, we come down here to, about right here, up like this. So there we are, reflected about the y axis. And I'm going to now give the equation for that, which is g of x equals f of negative x. And the negative has to go inside parentheses when you shift about or reflect about the y-axis. It's not the same when you go about the x-axis in number 10. The last one we're going to look at here. Is, no, I'm going to I'm going to reflect 12 about the x-axis because I didn't show that earlier. So I'm going to do number 12 to conclude this video lesson. We're going to reflect the graph of, of f of x about the x-axis, and to do that, we're going to take we're going to move it in this direction. Just so we're going to take. I'm just going to draw it in red here. This what I'm drawing here is a is a reflection about the x-axis. So that's about as good as I can do. So there we have it. And the equation for that is going to be g of x equals negative f of x. You take the negative sign, you take the negative outside everything here, you're reflecting about the x-axis. You go ahead and put the negative sign inside parentheses, you reflect about the y-axis. So some basic principles of uh, reflections and translations here. Good luck, and thanks for viewing.